Let's just go in slow. Oh, I said slow. All right, so in this channel, we are pretty much, we're all about tarantulas, right? Like this Dominican Republic green birdie turtle over here. Yep, that is my formicopus species green and she just went into the burrow, I mean the hide. And what else do we feature on this channel? Well, quite a few things. But what are you guys' favorite animals that I have? Well, I could say that one of it will be Miss Thailand Black, which is, I don't know, you can see her feet at the back there. Oh yeah, she's gone in. And who else? Like maybe Lord of Mercy number two, which is over there in her little web thing over there. Exactly. You see, all tarantulas, right? Don't forget, we also have my bearded dragon, Elvar, who is in his little place over here now. You see, his little pen over here. This whole place is just for Elvar. And I just fed him, so he's looking majestic. I mean, he just pooped over here for it. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm sorry if you guys are eating, but that's what he did today. And look at this guy. He is doing good. Check him out. This is Elvar. He's loving his new place here. It's like super big. He's got a height, he's got some sun if he needs, and yeah, it's all good. So yeah, that's Elvar, you guys love him as well. Who else do you guys love on this channel that we don't see anymore? That's right, it's my Death Stalker Scorpion. Now, a lot of you guys know that I had a Death Stalker Scorpion, a male, which I sent him off for breeding. Well, a lot of you are still asking me in the comments, like, where's the Death Stalker? You need an update on it. Well, unfortunately, guys, that Death Stalker I sent out for breeding, and the seller, no, not the seller, I mean, the, the guy with the female, told me that he tried few attempts but the female eventually grabbed him for dinner which sucks so yeah anyways you guys are in for a treat today you know why because look what we have in there like right over there guys comment down below what you think that is <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding because I mean I'm, I'm talking about death stalkers. Why why am I asking you to guess? But yeah, this over here guys, you guessed it. I bought another death stalker scorpion. Check that out. Now this is sick. I've always wanted one for I mean ever since that one passed away. That one passed away like last year. I mean I did mention to a few people, but some people still don't know about it. So if you're watching this video, then you know what happened. It passed away. And yeah. So we've got another whoa, he is super aggressive, man. This death stalker is pretty crazy. I'm not sure if it's a male or female. Well, this video, what's it all about is we're going to be rehousing this guy or girl into a, another enclosure, into a slightly bigger, I mean, a much bigger enclosure. So what we're gonna be rehousing that one in will be in one of these shoe boxes. Now, if you can see down here, I've rehoused my three hot and tota, hot and tota uh, scorpions. You see, there's one right there. Now, these shoe boxes are pretty big. I mean, my I had my torrential in here I still do have some tarantulas in these shoe boxes because I still haven't done up these other custom-made enclosures once I've done those all these guys will be transferred into custom-made enclosures just like these ones but now the scorpions are going to be transferred into these uh, shoe box enclosures so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing now so let me go get a shoe box so we can rehouse that guy over there so I, I don't even know where I put my shoe boxes like seriously did I put them in here? Nope, there's a hairdryer, there's artificial turf. What's in here? Uh, aspen, snake aspen. How about in nothing? Okay, hmm, where are my other shoe boxes? I have no idea. Where did I put them? Like seriously, what's in here? Random box. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna be needing this because this is the sand that I use. I'm not sponsored, but this is from Exo Terra, the desert sand. So this will be suitable. No, please do not put bearded dragons or any other like lizards on sand. I mean, you can put those sand skinks or something that burrows in sand, but please don't put like bearded dragons or leopard geckos or no. They'll get impaction when they ingest these sand. So yeah, safest, use it for scorpions because I don't know, I like it. It's super fine. As you can see down there, though my phone doesn't want to focus, but yeah, it's super fine and and perfect for scorpions and in here we have random wood which I don't know should I use it for the scorpion now nah, I, th I think for the scorpions height oh we have more wood in there but yeah I think for the scorpions height we're gonna be using like leaves such as these ones oh yeah by the way the scorpion from ants Canada it's still here there we go the Emperor scorpion I rehoused it into here now I mean it was in this enclosure if you guys remember that video but I don't know I just couldn't find him and I'm afraid that he may escape because there's like gap over here so I just decided to rehouse it into this enclosure over here with cocoa husk which is pretty damp so yeah he's been doing really really good ever since I've had him in here for a few weeks now and he's been doing great and he loves the leaves he likes hiding under the leaves so that's what we're gonna be doing with that death stalker we're gonna be taking dried leaves Ooh. we're gonna be taking dried leaves and putting it into the enclosure 
Similarly with the Hoten Tota over here, they've got dried leaves as well. I mean, I don't want to put heights because heights, um, they're going to be used for the other custom-made torrential enclosures. So yeah, scorpions, anything they have to hide under, anything, like literally, they, they'll do fine. They'll be satisfied. So leaves, dried leaves, perfect. Now, okay, I have one uh, container over here and this one used to house my striatopes, my Lassiodora striatopes, as you can see over here. Let me show you my striatopes. It is bigger now. It's much bigger compared to when we last saw it. I believe it's in here. There we go. Sorry if you can't really see, but there's my Lassiodora striatopes. Pretty big. So yeah, anyways, that's not what this video is about. We're going to be putting the scorpion into this enclosure over here. So basically what this enclosure has, if you guys haven't watched my shoebox enclosure, Hmm. Well, this used to be a tarantula enclosure and well, we have got four holes, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get this desert sand. Now this desert sand, I think I bought it for about $10 and it's not cheap for such a small bag of sand. It's not cheap, but I mean, it's worth it, I guess. So look at how fine it is. Super fine sand. ASMR guys. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much it. Okay, I don't want to put too much of sand. They do burrow, but it's okay. We're going to be giving it some dry leaves so it can hide and burrow under that. As for now, this will do good because this one I want to use for other scorpions in the near future. So there we go. You can see how fine the sand is. It's like super duper fine. I think I'll bring it out over there because over here is pretty dark. So yeah, over here, as you can see, check out how fine the sand is. It's like, yeah, super fine. I'm not sure where to get the sand from. I'm probably gonna have to read the packet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go get some dried leaves, which is just around my garden over here. I don't know what plant this is, but it just drops all these random dried leaves, which is fine, which is perfectly fine for the scorpion. There's more like in here, so. Let's just grab some of these. Check to make sure there's no bugs inside or anything. Nope, there's there's ant on that spider on that one. So yeah, these ones look good. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be tossing it into this enclosure like this. Nothing too special, just yeah, that's good enough. It can hide under there, it can hide under there or there or just pretty much anywhere it wants. So yeah, that's good. Now is the time we get this guy or girl into this enclosure. But before we do that, we're going to be needing, hmm, I'm gonna be using my pen because I don't know, because it's like lying over there. <laughs> I'm not gonna be touching the scorpion with my hand because guys, death stalker. Tell me that does not sound intimidating. If it's not intimidating for you, then I don't know what is. Death stalker, like it stalks you to death. I don't know. But yeah, let's open this slowly and make sure that he or she, look at, it's in some random sand, which is, I'm not a fan because sand, fan, rhymes. I'm not a fan because it's not fine at all, but come on, let's go. Whoa, okay. Let's just go in slow. Oh, I said slow, yo, okay. At least none of these went in, into my garden. They go, there we go. So now, let's see, he's doing, whoa, whoa, this guy, he's doing crazy. I mean, similarly, like my previous death stalker, man, this one is crazy as well, but I think the previous one was more crazy because it kept like attacking, but this one seems to be doing pretty good. Now let's get it a Turkestan roach. Hopefully it'll eat for us on camera because I don't know, we just rehoused it and it's kind of a little bit jumbled up, stressed out. So let's see, I've got a pumpkin in there for gut load. But yeah, anyways, let's get a Turk, which I don't know, which one should I get? Mm, let's get this one. Damn it, I missed. There we go. Nope, come here, guys. I'm just gonna be feeding you to a scorpion. Mm, dang it, they're so annoying. Like Turks, super fast, man. Yeah, got one. Okay, you are the lucky number one. Let's see if the scorpion is interested in a Turkestan roach. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 it's chasing, it's chasing. Yo, okay, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. No, you're, you're going the wrong way, Turk. Where are you going? Oh my goodness, the scorpion, crazy. Come here, go that way. Oh, shoot, almost got it. Here, yo, yo. Come on, Turk, what are you doing? Whoa, okay, this is gonna be good. Whoop, whoop. Oh, 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 it chased. It's chasing, it's chasing. Um, I have no idea what's happening right now, but come on, you got this. Oh man, come on, man, come on. Go, 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 that way, that way. Oh, I'm not sure if it wants to eat though, sad. But if I leave it in here, then I think I'm pretty sure I'll take it. Come on. Go, go, go. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's interested in the roach. There we go, you gonna grab it? Yeah, it looks like it's not too interested in the roach, but oh well. Nope, it's a little bit scared. Whoa, his, his stinger is really up. Yep, he's not interested. 
Well, I guess we'll feed him another day. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little short video for you guys to show you guys that I got a new Deathstalker finally. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys. I'll do an update on him. Don't worry or her. Yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. And as always, have a good one. Peace. And yeah, I guess that's it. Peace.